Hey Cardinals, Dr. King here. First of all, I apologize for my rough looking appearance. I'm dirty, I'm sweaty. I've been working around my yard, on my property, taking care of a lot of projects. It is spring break for me, so been getting a lot done and been very productive. Uh, I thought of you because something's going on and I have to sneeze because I've been uh, using my leaf blower a lot as well today, so no COVID here, hopefully. <laughs> But uh, a neat phenomenon is taking place on my front porch. You can see this plant here. It is called lemongrass. And sometimes it can be an attractant for bees. And I believe I have a swarm of bees getting ready to try to make a hive on my front porch. I've got this piece of furniture. I'm going to open the door and I'm going to be very quiet so I don't want to get stung. And I open this up and you can see a, a bunch of bees. Listen. I'm closing it very carefully because I don't want to squeeze any of them because they're very important. You notice I'm moving very slow because I don't want to irritate them and get stung. But anyway, honeybees, y'all. Obviously, I can't let them stay there. So I do have some friends who are beekeepers and they'll come remove them and put them in a real hive so that they can make honey. I eat honey every day. It's very good for you. It's, it, it has some nutrition, uh, obviously some calories. It's very sugary, and most of you have probably had honey before. But most importantly, I want you to do a little bit of research about bees, specifically honeybees, because without honeybees, they say that our earth as we know it would cease to exist, would stop. And I want you to do some research to find out why, because I'm not going to tell you. I already know why. So, honeybees. Some other good questions. What are some other bee species, some other types of bees that live in our state, and what do they do? Um, hint, hint, they pollinate things. You've heard of pollination. I know you've heard of pollen. You or a family member or friend has probably been affected by pollen recently. When you sneeze, those big yellow clouds all over the place uh, irritate your sinuses and make your nose runny and all that kind of stuff. Yep, pollen causes that. But without pollen and without bees to spread the pollen around, um, like I said, major, very, very smart scientists have said that our world could probably not exist. So... Thinking of you, Cardinals, sign language for I love you. Again, pardon my appearance. I am dirty and sweaty, but I thought of you while I saw this and uh, thought I'd do a quick video. Take care, guys. Bye.